Hey guys, Mina here and welcome to another special video. Today we will be doing a collab with a very talented, young and very successful art YouTuber, Lemia Crescent. And uh, this time the two of us got together and we had a little deal to draw each other's OCs or original characters and draw them out in our very own styles and give to each other for swapping uh, as line art and color each other's line art as well as drawing out each other's or maybe like OCs that are doing something together. I decided to uh, check out Lemia's uh, OCs and they were so adorable to me, I had to draw just them without adding any of my own because these two guys are so adorable. I instantly fell in love with the little unicorn girl and her little sidekick, which was like a little two-horned mini chibi yeti kind of a creature. And as you can see, my autofocus kept messing up because of my previous videos, but don't worry, that will get fixed soon enough, uh, just any minute now. And this time I decided to use some of Graphmaster's line art uh, tools, like um, different different thicknesses of uh, Graphmaster's uh, ink uh, pens that I found laying around in my workshop and these tools are actually very good they are waterproof and that's one of the main points I select about any tools regarding inking because you have you you never know if you're in the mood for like doing color later on with watercolors or doing a color with Copic markers or any other alcohol based markers. And <clears throat> what I found that was awesome about these is the various line thicknesses you can get with only one tool depending on how hard you press on and that's something that every inking tool should possess the ver various thickness sizes because you can really do a lot with only one uh, inking tool and various thicknesses of the lines which are extremely important if you want to have some sort of a depth to your artwork without actually using color or heavy shading of course you can do a lot of shading but for manga the trick is simplicity and sometimes a lot of shaded areas are replaced by various uh, thickness of lines so that's one tip for today. Uh, also, I will probably be doing a lot of new stuff on my channel in the future when I finally grab some new lighting equipment. And also there is a very important lesson being hidden right in this video as you watch this particular part. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually made a huge mistake. I actually created like a line art and I forgot to draw in the lower body to, for the little mascot so but this is actually a perfect opportunity to show you guys how I fix this and that nothing is unfixable and that no mistake is uh, like something you can never change or improve even like biggest professionals can make mistakes but the the main reason why they are professionals is because they can fix them so yeah I personally fell in love with graph masters tools and believe me this is not a sponsored video I just found out that their white marker that actually has a lot of white paint inside is phenomenal for white areas and covering up mistakes they are still there they are still visible you can barely see them if you if you can just um look a little bit closer but the way to fix this mistake was actually to cover up uh, this kind of like lines that were not supposed to be there and then scan this artwork um, do a little bit of contrast setting if you want I can even make a video regarding how to fix this completely I know some of us 
or some of you don't have a um, scanner or a printer nearby but that's not a problem either because if you have some extra time you can just uh, redo the line art like by using a uh, um, piece of paper over your uh, work and just uh, putting both the, the artwork that you need to fix and the blank piece of paper over that and put them on a window and just trace it all over again. Um, also, there is a way you can actually build your own light table. So even if it's like dark outside, you can do this and just repeat the line art. It is a bit tedious, it can be a little bit bothersome, but patience is the key to many uh, types of mistakes and fixing them. Also, don't forget the importance of filling in black areas and black spaces to make your line art even more uh, like in-depth and showing a bit of like deeper parts or further parts of your character. As you can see, when you print out a scanned and fixed artwork, you get a clean artwork you can print out and use to color. Also, check out Lemia's video where she made it into full color. I will leave all the links below. Also, now let's get on to the second part of the video where I got this amazing opportunity to actually color in a line art that she drew out for me and if you can check out the mascots on the line art you will see that these are her OCs and my characters from Manga Crash Course so they are all just having fun together and summoning I guess Mimi from the uh, magician's Hat. So I wanted to try to put on a soft and very blended style of coloring which I don't usually do because I personally prefer um, some of more rugged cell shading type of um, shading out some of my drawings but sometimes I just feel more bubbly and for such happy and uh, uh, like very very soft looking characters I wanted to just implement a very soft looking kind of shading and coloring with filling out the entire surfaces with color of course when I started out using Copics and I didn't have a lot of money I always tried to save up on Copics and refills by just color coloring in areas that were shaded especially when you have um, characters with light skin. If you have characters with darker skin, then in that case you are, well, kind of like ob obligated to fill in the entire surface of the character's skin so that it would be evened out. But then Copics have something that I really don't like and that's the, the patchiness. Uh, because uh, with dark colors you can you can't be sure that you will have an even color everywhere so be careful with just using Copics and if you want to save up on coloring supplies and art supplies I still do recommend watercolors and because they are way cheaper uh, they last way longer. You can have as many shades of different colors as you want and uh, coloring in white surfaces is actually less patchy. So uh, everybody can select their own tools for coloring in. The reason why I use Copics is because when I have to work a lot during the day and draw out many drawings, Copics are actually very fast to dry and that that's how I save up on time uh, when I don't have to wait for my drawing to dry out for the longest time. So that's some sort of a tip from me regarding Copics and if you're also in a hurry for something to dry faster any other type of uh, alcohol based markers is also good. Um, just check out the reviews on websites. Personally, there are some um, types of markers I already tried and they were showing up to be even like maybe even better than Copics. But 
Copics will always have their own way of being on top because Copics uh, are one of the very few brands that actually provide you with refills. All alcohol-based markers are very expensive, but then you have to buy a new set or a new marker. Um, or maybe you can try and buy Copic refills and then fill your alcohol-based marker of another brand. I heard from a lot of people that they, they have tried this. Maybe in some way I can try it with some low-grade alcohol markers and let you know if I had any success with it. If you want me to do some new testing of uh, manga equipment or art supplies or any kinds of reviews, please leave a comment down below and I will make sure to uh, satisfy all your curiosity and all your taboo topics regarding like uh, um, a lot of different gear and equipment for manga drawing and shading and coloring. And as you can see, uh, sometimes you need to use a lot of different layers of markers to get a little bit of a glimpse of different shades of the same color. Some markers are too translucent for it to succeed and you end up getting a huge greasy looking blob on your surface. Some markers leave out a patchy surface and some markers can be very good depending on what you're doing and how much pressure or how many layers of one marker you put on a surface. Um, again, I have been using a lot of layers of one Copic for like years as a technique because I was too, like, well, poor, <laughs> but not having enough money for a lot of markers. So I had to improvise and see if one marker could be uh, available for me to get a lot of different shades and of course uh, warm gray must be one of my all-time favorite Copics because warm gray is applicable to any other color it's very neutral but very uh, usable for many different characters and objects and general shading of other colors um, my Mimi is actually a combination of uh, violet color, well, like some sort of a like ash violet and <laughs> warm gray. And I just uh, hope that you guys like how this design of Mimi uh, in Lemia style looks because I personally adored it when I first saw it. She's very talented and I think she will be um, surpassing my YouTube channel soon enough because her quality is very good. Also, like a little shout out to all of you guys out there. Um, just work your best, just work your hardest and one day you will be just like Lemmy. Lemmy is nice, she's a very good and positive person. You should definitely check her out, you should definitely follow her channel. She prefers doing a lot of um, cartoony characters and she pr she obviously prefers a little more like um, alternative uh, styles but I see that she can do a lot of manga as well uh, she's also a big Steven Universe fan just like me and uh, sometimes we really like just <laughs> just like talk about this stuff and 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 just fangirl about stuff so she's a very nice person and I wish I could do a lot of collabs with people like her and personally art youtubers should stick together and just do collabs and be friends and I this this is some sort of a experience I really think has enriched me and from next week I think that I finally have enough motivation and time to set up my channel to a completely new level. So guys, if you can think of anything you want to suggest for just getting my, my channel on a new level, please don't be afraid to ask. I even heard some people asking me to do pumpkin carvings. Um, sadly, for Halloween, I am going to have a vacation 
and yeah I'm such a geek that I'm taking a vacation during Halloween so that I want to just go and have some nice Halloween free time with my friends so no working on Halloween for me but yeah for next year I'm definitely going to get some fun Halloween projects done and do a lot more because it's a very special holiday for all of us geek people and what I wanted to tell you guys is that I just enjoy um, working with uh, a lot of creative young people and I will be probably starting live streaming soon so that's also one of major news coming up and if you guys have suggestions of what I should be live streaming about, maybe we can do live tutorials or live drawings or maybe even, uh, maybe we, we could even like have you guys suggesting something um, to draw at on the spot, I will gladly do it because young people with a lot of new ideas and people to chat with are always fun. And I think it will be very interesting to see how people react to me live. And of course, I will be um, probably recording myself, so we will be finally be able to find out if I'm a boy or a girl. <laughs> yeah, there's there's been a lot of new comments lately about people not knowing which gender I am. But yeah, I'm not going to be like that mean, do you assume my gender? I'm just going to have fun with you guys and see what will make you like happy. Will it be drawing your favorite characters, drawing your own characters? Maybe I can even give out some free drawings of your own original characters. Or maybe we should do like live lessons and uh, live tutorials. Maybe if you have some questions about your own drawings, you can link them to me during live streams and I can maybe give you advice and tips and tricks on how to fix them. Uh, of course, I will just be giving you suggestions about stuff like um, body proportions or maybe something to, I don't know, um, change the composition for a better overall effect. So I really hope you guys can give me all the suggestions and all, all your wish lists. And here we go, it's done. And it's done guys, thank you all for watching and check out this link for Lemia's challenge. Lemia Crescent is one of the upcoming young YouTubers that you definitely want to watch. She's quirky, she's creative and I recommend you guys check out her page and thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.